Hey guys, Daniel here, and today we'll be going over this year's Acer's Predators G6 model. And looking at the design, it's the same as last year, so we're not going to go over that intensively. But starting out at the front, we do have a DVD player, an expansion bay up to 12 TB of HDD or 512 SDD. Under that, we do have an SD card reader, two USB 3s, a jack for a mic and headphone, and you do get a useful headphone holder. Above all that, you do get a power button and a turbo button. Over at the back, you do get a HDMI, DP, a bunch of USB ports, and of course, the Ethernet port. Within the package, Acer also sent me a mouse, their own keyboard, and 32-inch 4K monitor for me to game on. We are running on i7, 16 gigs of RAM, and the GTX 1080 Ti. If you ever want to overclock this computer, you can always click on the turbo button on top, or you have the predator sense on your computer, so you don't have to physically press the button. Now within this software, you can turn off or on the lights, and of course, you can see your temperature, your fan speed, you can custom or manually control your fan speed. Now you do hear the fan speed up, and it does get quite loud on the max setting. So let's move on to gaming. And the first game we have is Witcher 3, which is the most highly intensive game that I've played. So maxing out all the graphics to Ultra and the resolution to 4K. The overall gaming experience, it's really smooth. I didn't lag walking around the field. The colors are sharp. It pops out off my monitor. And fighting wise, it's really smooth. Nothing lags and everything just flows. I didn't really feel any lag at all. While playing Witcher 3 on max, the only thing that may be a problem is while cutscenes when I get to choose my answers, my mouse is a little bit delayed and it doesn't match my exact movement when I move my mouse. In terms of FPS, I usually get around 30s to 50s. It really depends where I'm at. If I'm out in a field fighting or running around, I would usually get around 30 to 40, but when I'm in a room or enclosed area, then I would get closer to 50s. Next up we have Doom. And of course, to playing all ultra, this game is very detailed with a lot of gore and is fast paced. Overall, my FPS stays at 60 and it's super smooth, nothing really laggy, especially when I'm fighting aliens, constantly fighting, um, shooting at them, punching at them, nothing lags. Again, this is a fast paced game and the graphics and the performance on this PC does not hold you down. Moving on to your next game, we're playing Players Unknown and Usually, this is when you first start is on this island with a lot of people. This is where you get the most lag, but that's only when people are loading into the map. Of course, you're playing on ultra settings after jumping off the plane, landing on the field. You are super smooth. Usually, I would get around 70 to 90 FPS. When I'm out there, like picking up items, going to building the buildings, even in gunfights, it's all smooth and no lag at all. And you can even see people off a of distance with no problem. Moving down the list, we do have an easier game to play and it's Overwatch. Of course, it doesn't take too much resources, so this game should handle like a charm. On high setting, I usually get around 70 FPS. Next up is Counter-Strike GO, and you do get over 200 FPS on the highest setting. In some cases, I've seen my FPS up to 290, but that's only in the spawn when nothing's really happening. And for your league players, I do get around 120 to 240 FPS while I'm playing. Now, all these games I do play on a daily basis, and it can handle all that easily. Of course, Witcher 3 is the highest intensive game that I played, so everything I ran on this computer runs really smooth. If you want a pre-built computer, then I would say this is a good choice. And if you ever need more power for whatever reason, you can overclock just by press of a button. If you ever need more storage space, you can easily do that. And if you don't have a headphone holder, this comes with it. Now you can open this computer up and install more RAM, which is up to 64 gigs. The price on this guy starts off at 2299 It is steep, but it's all pre-built. So for you guys who don't want to build a computer, look no further. Especially if you guys want to play in 4K, the Acer G6 with 1080 Ti can handle it like a breeze. So that's it for me guys. Remember to like, subscribe, and always enter your entertainment.